in this lesson we're going to be looking at a nice way to change the height of some controls that by default you're not allowed to change the height so i'm going to give you two examples so the first one i'm going to use is the segmented control so let's make some room so i'm going to drag this up and i'm going to put a segmented control at the bottom here okay so this segmented control if you go to the size inspector you can see that the height is grayed out and i'm not able to increase the height and that's something that you may want to change sometimes so what i do is i will add layout constraint to this so i'm going to add layer, layer constraint including the height so once you had the layout constraint select the control and you want to select the height the height constraints and click on edit now it says 28 so i'm going to put 50 put 50 and press enter so now you can see that the height has been increased if we go to the uh, size inspector you can see it's still grayed out and it put 51 actually instead of 50 did i type 50 or 51 let's try again 50. okay so now we have an height of 50 so now we can run the app and you will see that the height will be set to the size that we added which is really nicer actually it looks nicer than uh, previous the same thing uh, applies to controls like a progress view so if you had a progress view and then go to the height you can see the height is fixed at two so all you need to do is set constraint set constraints onto it make sure you had the height one while you're setting it, you can change it as well so shall we change the height to say 10 and then press enter and you see that we have a nice we can adjust it i'm going to update constraints when i run it this it shouldn't be as thin as it looks on the storyboard you can see it looks a lot nicer so this is one way for you to change the height of some controls that are not changed by default thank you